What's up everyone and welcome to today's video. So, we all know what happened with the MyFF situation over the past couple of months. It's a shame that that even happened in the first place, but it was a big wake up call for myself and everyone else within the prop firm industry. I had capital with them, it's gone. You've got to move on. You've got to move into a solution and the solution I'm going to present to you today. And this is allowing us to fully build a verified track record is FCA regulated and allows us to focus on the long term. So unlike a lot of prop firms with targets and things like time limits in place, it gets you from a process driven mode into an outcome driven mode. This is complete opposite. This is how trading should be done. Focus on the long term, small consistent targets, verified track record. This is trading to a T. So let's take a look. The platform itself is called Darwin X. I'm sure you've heard of it over the past couple of months since the MyFF situation has obviously gone down and a lot of people are flooding to this platform because of the focus on long term and the focus on safety above everything else. So let's take a look. Now we're on the website now. We can take a look at how this works. So I'm going to break down exactly how it works, but just to give you some parameters to start off. Zero risk, so you would trade a virtual account for a monthly fee. So the monthly fee is 38 euros a month, which is absolutely nothing for the benefits you're getting. Zero limits, so you can attract investor and seed capital, which we'll talk about in a little bit. The limit to the capital you can attract depends on your skill set. And then you have zero restrictions. So no up or out monthly return requirements. You don't have to hit a 10% target. You don't have time limits in place. You choose your trading style. And what matters is your longer term focus on building the track record. That's the most important thing. What I will say with this is that you've got to focus on it as if you've got a 10 mil account. And I'll explain why. Because this is focused on your track record, it's important that every trade you take is a financial decision. It's dependent on, does this trade meet my plan? Do I have an edge longer term? If so, take the trade. But just go in with that mindset of, this is a longer term project. This is not, you know, I'm getting 80% split and I'm trying to milk the prop firm as much as possible. It's a completely different mentality and you have to understand that. But if you go in with the correct mentality, lower your risk, treat it as a big capital amount. Over time, you will build that track record and there is a, a vital opportunity that we have here. So this is really good. Now, in terms of capital allocation, what we have is we have a few different stages that you can go through here. Now, the first stage that everyone has to go through is what's called calibration. So this is where you trade with virtual funds to generate trading signals. So essentially, there's an AI system in place that basically works out your risk parameters, how you manage risk per trade, how you manage risk over a series of trades, and overall, it's gonna give you a score coming out of that calibration stage, which then determines your potential seed capital coming into silver and gold, right? So then you've got silver. So this is a monthly seed capital allocation program and your first exposure to investment. In Darwin X Silver, this is where allocations are based on your ability to generate returns over six month periods. So it's longer term, you can see that coming in. Gold. So this is consistently achieved midterm results, your progress into Darwin Gold. It's a challenge to reach this level, but once you're here, this is where larger allocations of capital can potentially be allocated to the correct traders. And then once you've got that third stage, this is where you can maximize into investors, outside investor capital, in addition to also seed capital. Then you've got the final stage, which is Darwin X Pro as a hedge fund, as a service that allows you to approach your own investors with your own brand and your own fees. So you can see, this is all gonna take a bit of time. I'm not here, sat here, telling you it's gonna happen in three months. That's not the case, but we all know by this point, trading doesn't work like that anyway. Trading takes a, a while to build, it takes a while to achieve the skill set. But if you've got the skill set and you've got the correct mindset, there's no reason why you can't go through each of these stages. And even as you go through these, you're receiving seed capital. You've got a verified track record that's currently building as well. I wish I'd have known about this five years ago because you just build that track record, it's verified and you have it to your degree at that point. So incredible. Let's take a look at Darwin X Silver just to showcase 
what kind of score we're getting and then what potential capital we're gonna actually get as well. So let's say for a monthly return, I mean, I would personally say go in on lower risk, so I wouldn't even risk 1% going into here, but let's say you're risking 0.5 and you have a 5% month, let's say 2.5, and the cumulative percentage return over a five month period, let's say is six, right? Max drawdown, we'll call it, just to give it a rough figure, we'll call it minus two. Let's calculate this, right? So your score is 81.38. As long as your score is above 75, which as you can see from the results here, is relatively easy to do as long as you're consistent and as long as you have that skill set, you then allocated potential capital, which is incredible. Now, I will say it's not the same split as prop firms, right? In a prop firm industry, you can get 70, 80, whatever it may be. In Darwin X, it's 15%. However, we're dealing with the professional side of trading here. This is where you're dealing with actual real life investors who are potentially giving you, you money. Darwin X are actually giving you seed capital to trade with as well, as long as your score and things are in place, which is incredible. So the 15%, Obviously, it's a lot lower than what you would usually get, but this is the professional side of trading, and this is what it actually takes as well. And the thing is, there is a trader on here, on Darwin X, their biggest trader, has over a thousand different investors, and is trading upwards of $33 million, right? So if you put yourself in a position where you start to acquire different investment, 15% on large capital, you're getting a considerable amount of money, and capital from that so it's not a thing to worry about the focus should be on the long term and this is just another avenue you can look at as well in terms of your trading portfolio so that is the actual score we would have got let's even say you have a bit more of a drawdown period right you're still getting a score as long as you're consistent of 80 so as long as you keep your max drawdown under under or under wraps under management and you're consistent, you're solid, you're good to go. So let's check out some of the ratings from Darwin X Silver. Now, you've also got obviously Darwin X Gold, the different avenues of that. This is just simply silver, right? So some of these people, there's quite a few ratings on here. We've got a higher rating, 96, and then all the way down, you can see very solid ratings as we work our way down. There's a lot of traders here doing very well, right? And you can see all of them, the highest, this is just on silver, has 375 euros, K euros, right? And then we work down and even some of these lower ranks still have capital to trade with, which is absolutely incredible. And this is what you wanna be striving for, right? So if we just click on that and we go to this person, we can actually see the results that this person has actually been acquiring over the past few months, right? So returns since inception, just below 19%. Max drawdown, 3%. Nothing to really worry about there. Return overall, and then you can see it, right? Now, if we just scroll down, we can see the month to month broken down. This is what I love about this. So you've got 1.86% in September, October, much higher month at 8.33. November so far, 7.83. And you can see the different ratios here of return, annualized return, max drawdown. I will put the importance on max drawdown here. You don't want to be, you know, having these big fluctuations in capital, which is why I'm saying keep your risk low and be treating this as you've already got investor capital prior to actually getting investor capital, right? That's the mindset you should be approaching things. They don't want to be seeing big fluctuations in max drawdown because you're going to potentially cap yourself on the investors that you actually acquire because you've got to look at it from an investor standpoint. If they see a huge fluctuation in max drawdown, are you really going to invest in that person? Probably not. So you're going to invest in the person who is consistent, slow and steady, builds that smooth equity curve and builds that over time via a track record. You can see these different uh, metrics here as well. Overall, you see the daily distribution, and overall, there are some incredible figures here you can actually learn from and go through, which is what we wanna take a look at. As we move into the gold, just for a quick roundup and quick show you, we've got 
the return. So this works in terms of return once we get to gold. You can see some of them are not even a big return, but we can see the allocation of capital is huge. It's pretty, pretty decent, right? If we just click on this person's, let's take a look at this. 67.14%. This has been a slow and steady track record over time. This is what you want to be looking for, right? This is what investors are looking for. You've got that track record over time. Even in that track record, you've gone through periods where you've taken losses. You've been through periods of performance where it's just not been great. That's market cycle for you. But as long as you stay consistent, you'll ride that over time. And you can see that in this person's portfolio, right? And this is what you want to be looking at. Over the course of the years, you can see 2019, October, things started. 2020 and up until 2023 not every single month is a green month right for example september every year tends to be a bit of a drawdown month maybe this trader can actually look into that further but overall it doesn't mean to say that every single month is going to be a green month but as long as you protect your risk that is the most important aspect of trading so this person's got 20 investors investor capital of 194k Darwin X capital of 305, which is perfect. Right, so there is a document here that I'm going to attach in the description of this video for you all to check out and read into. Just to have a little bit more of a background check and make sure you know what you're dealing with, etc. So it describes how the platform actually works, what are the steps to take. There's a video here as well that explains it in more detail and you can check out for yourself. And it also explains like the differences between zero and other funding programs. So if we click on that, you can see zero. So Darwin X zero prepares you to manage investor capital at scale, which for people like myself, who have been in the industry for a while. This was always the goal for a lot of people prior to funding even came into place. So this was always the professional side of trading. You develop capital, you develop your skill set along the way, get to a point where you can manage investor capital. And then from there, you can scale that if you so wish. So this prepares you to manage investor capital at scale. You do this by building a track record, which we certify and make public that investors can trust. The model is scalable and transparent and is designed for the long term. You trade your own way without any restriction on the trading activity, nor specific return or drawdown targets. We back you along the way to finally be able to manage investor capital. You can make withdrawals as well. Any point after $100, you can withdraw. And overall, I will attach this for you all to check out, but I highly consider this as another avenue to actually trade from. Obviously, at this point, some of you may have personal capital, prop firms under management, and you look at investor capital via the route of Darwin X. You're, all you're doing here is being smart. You're being tactical as a trader. And being tactical as a trader, both in and out of the markets is very key. So your diversification model is on point. You've got three avenues here, three different ways of making money within the whole sector of trading itself. So you've got trading, but then you've got personal capital, prop firm capital, and something like Darwin X for investor capital. Three avenues, diversification is on point, and this is how you scale longer term, by thinking smart, thinking like an actual professional trader, and taking this seriously for the longer term. So overall, hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave a link in the description and I'll also check, I'll leave this link as well for you all to check out. Please take your time through it. Definitely consider it. And I think this is an avenue you should all be looking for. This is an avenue that I'm also involved in as well to manage risk over the longer term and manage that capital in a secure and safe environment. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Speak to you all in the next one.